Hello, this is Rockin' Robins again, uh, with the, uh, tactical part of Ironclads 2, American Civil War. We'll play as the USA side this time, and stand by while we get the game going. I'll find a good spot, and I'll put you right in the middle of it. You can see it's our turn here. We're looking for enemies to attack, and here we are outside of the uh, New Orleans Harbor. I've moved my three uh, smaller gunboats out to here. I've got three sloops of war right there, so I'm in two columns. That's going to give us that one. Let's take a look at this one, shall we? Tactical battle. Well, first of all, you have controls here, but let's take a look at how this works. Here we have two columns. Each column only has one ship which can maneuver in that column. You'll notice if I click on the back ship, I don't have any throttle, and I don't have any, uh, any rudder. So let's take a look at how this works. Right here is our throttle. We can be at slow speed, half speed, or full speed. Over here is the rudder, which is going to be straight left to right. Seems like pretty limited controls, but it works pretty well. This is your time control. We'll pause time right now. You can have regular, you have accelerated, and you have paused. Then you have control over the kind of ammunition you have, and it's not the kind of ammunition in your gun right now. It's when you shoot, what is the next ammunition that will be loaded into the guns on that particular boat. So, this is standard solid shot. Uh, has uh, pretty good abilities, but not really uh, super destructive and not super penetrating. Then you have the ability to have uh, what's called a common shell. This is an explosive shell. Uh, wrecks havoc on wooden vessels. It surely does. can cause fires and that kind of thing. Very interesting to have around. And over here we have the armor-piercing shell. And you can see that's red. We don't have any armor-penetrating armor shells. Um, these are good on ironclads. We don't have any ironclads in the battle today. We don't have that uh, that ammunition available to us, so we can pick one or the other. Now, you have lots of solid shot on board. You have a limited supply of explosive shells, so watch what you're doing. Right here, uh, you can leave it... Uh, this is for automatic fire. It'll start firing uh, when your accuracy is about 5%, and it'll stop firing when your accuracy, when your accuracy is not 5% anymore. If you want, you can put the the ship on ceasefire, wait till you're close and then unleash hell, and that's exactly what our plan is here. So we just we just set our lead ship on there. Let's go to ship number two and uh, put him on hold. Go to our next column. Our next column here, this is our lead ship. Lead ship's always on the left. Lead ship, hold your fire lead ship. That one. Hold your fire. And finally, that one, hold your fire. All right, folks, let's look at the enemy. If you hold your right mouse key down and move it, your mouse around, you can see you can kind of rotate your field of view. In order to move your field of view, you have to move your cursor to the edge of the, of the field and then it automatically moves. Silent Hunter also works this way a little bit. I, I'd love to be able to move with the arrow keys, but that's the way it goes. Um, let's look at their two. They ha also have two columns. There's gunboats right there. Gunboats have limited ammunition, but they, uh, they maneuver really, really well. What we're going to try to do to begin with is to keep these guys out of the battle. We're going to try to engage these little gunboats and chew them up, so let's give it a shot and see how it goes. Let's start time. Time just started, believe it or not. Let's 
zoom in on the zero scroll wheel. Pretty nice graphics on this thing. That's as close as we can get in. Notice um, we got lots of guns here. Two guns on deck for, for short range uh, short range target shooting. He's turning, he's turning right. Now, if you want to use time compression, let's uh, take a look at that. That kind of doubles your, your time progression. Notice it's not really super fast. Rudder. He may let us. He may let us get him. Let's slow down. Let's let him fire. Fire. Let these guys fire. Turn these guys right. Collision behavior is kind of interesting in this game. Take a look at these guys turn. These little guys really turn. There we go. Now, suppose we want to... Uh, no, we don't want to do that. Ah, oh, this is bad. He's crossed the T on me. Now, USS Palos has critical damage here. Let's see where he is here. He's a little guy, isn't he? There he is. Runaway means he's just gonna he's gonna leave formation here. What we're gonna do with these guys? Gonna catch right up behind the lead of this hind ship and chew away at him. Come back around. Much harder for a human to deal with two columns than it is for a computer. Much harder to deal with. This is difficult. You can stop time and do maneuvering that way. I'm not that good at it, eh? That's okay, it's just a video. Help these guys to fire. side action there. Now let's take a look at our ship here. You can see that the, uh, you've got statistics on the on the ship, but down the bottom you've got how much damage it has. You can see the starboard side is 15.8% damage, the port side is undamaged. No fire damage, no water, no water damage. This guy's 32% damage there. Look at that. That's not good. And this guy is like 90.3% damage on, on one side. I'm not doing too well here. Where's our bad guys? 
Straighten out that rudder, get some speed going. And when your rudder is uh, deflected, you lose some speed because you get a little... Well, rudders work by increasing drag, especially on one side. Gives you a little bit of aerodynamic lift. Actually, hydrodynamic here. Top right is the propeller tells you you're going 6.2 knots. Your theoretical top speed is 7.5 knots. What we have these little guys isolated like we wanted to with only two of them. Our gunboats are a little bit out of the battle here. here we go. Trying to cut off the other gunboats is what we're going to try to do. Cut off the big guys too if we can. Battles can, uh, can last a long time. It's not selecting the target. I think they'll shoot him anyway. Shoot! There's no damage in collisions in this game for some reason, so we'll just watch them collide. They seem to be shooting faster than we are. Kaboom! Shoot! Fire! There we go. Yes. That's what I call getting in close and giving them the fire. Love the smoke in this game. Nelson technique. Just put your boats in there close and let things fall where they may. There's some gunboat action up here. There's our gunboat. There's their gunboat, the Dixie. He's 99.9% damaged. He's about to go down. We're 99.9% damage. Whoever gets the first shot off wins. Not getting any targeting here at all. It's supposed to put a target indicator over the top of his boat and you click on it. Not getting it for some reason. There we go. Good ammunition. I'm sure we'll be cutting the video here and there to try to <laughs> get things to look better. These guys are not exactly speedboats. Got some pretty good action going so far. Got some pretty good damage on a couple of their boats, but these guys tend to be a little bit unscathed compared to mine. Look at that, 99.9. .9. He's going down pretty quick. We'll hold up until one goes down. Whoever it may be. Shoot, guys. Now well, the one gunboat of ours that ran away early in the battle is the one really hurting us, keeping us from getting an even match against their gunboats. right, we do not respect your right away. Shoot! Shoot! Well, that was bad. These 
get a sinking here. Even if it's mine. SS Nyack, Runaway, that's got to be our one that just got... That's Nyack, alright, but he sure isn't running away. CSS Macon is also critically damaged, yes! We like that, let's have a sinking here. Let's get this guy sunk. turn to come out close to him, but we don't seem to be getting that right turn there, do we? Because it's a runaway, that's why I have no control over him. What a shame. Shoot him, shoot him! There we go. Well, I thought for sure we'd get a sinking out of that. It gives you a little taste of the tactical part of the game. Tactical part of the game. Uh, simple controls. Pretty complicated things going on here. And we'll call that a shot. We'll call it a wrap for Rockin' Robins. This has been the Ironclads 2 tactical game look. And... Uh, gives you a little bit of the look of how it works. Controls look a little bit simple. As you can see, things get very complicated very fast. I would have been better off with a single column and uh, keeping track of one column at a time, but this what, that's what rookies do, you know? Hello, this is Rockin' Robbins signing off. Hope you enjoyed the video.